Greetings, YouTube, for the last, so oh, I don't know, 24-ish hours, I've been asked, Prof, why haven't you done a video on back issues number eight, variant number eight? I was like, yeah, I'll get to it, you know, eventually, maybe. Well, here we are, talking about Deadpool Uza, and you can see all of the many Deadpools in this image right below Kabam Thrillson, which sounds like Kabam has hired their own adult entertainment. Once upon a time, I made the best quest ever. That's right, you thought some stuffy old designer was going to write this message, but it was me. It's time for back issues number eight, smacking you in the face on Wednesday, November 10th. That's right, that is tomorrow, people. Just like those older, I almost said older, those other dusty old back issues we dig out of the coolest or the, clo the closest closetest. We dig out of the closest. Is that supposed to say closet? The exceptional Dead Palooza will let all of my lovely little summoners relive a classic quest from the good old days available in two tasty flavors. Classic difficulty and the variant difficulty. So, the variant challenge. Like I literally just said, this quest is all about me and all the wannabes. Global buffs. Mercs for money. The Defender reduces all incoming damage by 95% unless the attacker is Mercenary. Deadpool. Deadpool X-Force. Gold Pool, Platinum Pool, Gwyn Pool, Venom Pool, or Massacre. Well, I've got a couple of Massacres, um, and I've got a Platinum Pool. And I guess technically I've got a Deadpool. This is going to be interesting, right? <laughs> but uh, the hashtag Mercenary will make it a little bit better. Star of the show. Obviously, I should get a huge buff in these quests. I'm the original. Let's pump up all my stats and finally put something on my special one. This buff supplies Deadpool and only Deadpool. Bonus attack, bonus armor, bonus crit rate, increased regeneration potency, and applies a degen effect to the defender on a successful special one. Well, then you better not get hit by that special one. We should all have this power anyways. This doesn't make sense. Why don't all my copies have the same abilities as me? Grant attacking Deadpool X-Force, Gold Pool, Platinum Pool, Gwyn Pool, Venom Pool, or Massacre permanent passive regeneration of a per certain percentage of their max health per minute, scaling with their power. And then crossfight ability buffs. But Mr. Thrillson, you might say, and I would say, yes, my sweet little cherub. These don't benefit the other mercenaries at all, and you'd be right. I did things differently this time since this is my quest and will be better than all of the other back issues, period. I guess all these typos are intentional. I don't really think it's funny because I grade typos, but, you know, maybe you do. Defeating Deadploids throughout the quest will grant you special abilities that you can carry forward into the rest of the quest. Making your mercs stronger and stronger. I also feel like the word merc is such a toxic word, especially in this community, that I'm a little triggered by that. I don't know. Strapped up, skilled Deadpooloid. Defeating the defender grants the attacker a permanent strapped up crossfight ability. Strapped up causes the attacker special attacks to randomly inflict additional debuffs. I mean, I don't know if I want to spam specials with uh, recoil damage, but then again, if, uh, if I'm getting some regen, maybe that'll cancel out the recoil of my... Good old full suicide mastery. Starlight Acrobatics. Defeating this defender grants the attacker a permanent Starlight Acrobatics crossfight ability. Starlight Acrobatics grants the attacker a phase passive when they dash back and hold block, causing incoming attacks to miss. I probably won't use that very much. Bad Breath. Grants the attacker a permanent Bad Breath crossfight ability, causing factors to inflict poison debuffs on opponents. Like that. Sucker Punch. Makes the attacker permanently unblockable while the opponent is above a certain... Amount of hit point threshold. Uh, Mystic Deadpooloid. You shall not cast. Grants power steal to the attackers. Heavy and special attacks. So spam some heavy gel. Cyber Hive. Chance to poison and shock the opponent. And then the rewards. Completion. You see all the differences. You got tier 1 alpha, tier 4 basic, 3 star venom. But this is a classic difficulty ramp. This is what we care about. Five star rank two to rank three. Rank up gym times three. Five star rank three to rank up four gym. 2017 champions and uh, below maybe. Or maybe beyond. 
Five star, rank four, rank five, Jim Crystal. That's always really nice. I always have people that I'm like, ooh, if I get this class, I'll do this. Five star uh, Crystal Shards, 25,000. Tier five basic, three of them. I think that's great. I always need three tier five basic. One tier five class Calus Ferrum Crystal. Still wish that was a selector, but that's not ever been really the rewards or expectation of variant content, so I guess I shouldn't expect that now. Half of a six star, meh, I still think they could give us fully formed six star worth of shards given that we're going to get OG Spidey anyway. Five star signature stone crystals, 48, 4 million gold, and 360 units. Thank you, Mr. Thrill House. Let's see some of the feedback, huh? No change in rewards. So they're not impressed. Love this. Rewards are weak for the state of the game. The rewards are heavy weighted on five star progression. This isn't in game content anymore either. If you're looking for tier six basic or tier three alpha, ask Karina for a new challenge. Kabam Thrillson's like, I am not having time for your shade. That's gotta be the title of this video now. Kabam Thrillson is having no time for reward shade. I mean, I agree that the rewards probably should have evolved. I went over this with the Cavalier uh, difficulty Terax fight, mainly because I feel like Kabam has started giving us Thronebreaker difficulty in the form of harder Cavalier difficulty, which they used to do with uncollected difficulty before they gave us Cavalier difficulty, but without any change in rewards. However, maybe just maybe this is going to be like, I don't know, really easy for people who have the right champions and we're going to view it as like fun, easy rewards. I don't know. I haven't tried the content yet. All I can guarantee is that some people will make it look very easy and I will not make it look as easy. That's 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 all I can guarantee. So, Kabam Thrillson is not looking at that shade. He can speak as Deadpool and apparently not worry about um, passive aggressiveness. Maybe Kabam Thrillson is Kabam Mike in disguise. Maybe he gets to channel his passive aggressiveness by pretending to be somebody else. He's this is Kabam Kabam Thrillson is Kabam Mike's burner account. That'd be a fun title for this video. I'm not going to do it, but that would be a fun title for a video. Uh, are you excited? Are you pumped? I finally got to it. I finally talked about it. We'll see what happens. I mean, I haven't actually fully explored the last variant content. I just I haven't felt like doing it. I haven't done that much new content lately, and I don't really care. I don't know. The way that the game gives you enough with glory to get tier 5 basic and tier 2 alpha with daily Thronebreaker crystals and everything else, I just I kind of feel like I'm almost retired from doing quote-unquote in-game content. And I know that that is going to give people who think I suck at this game, and maybe I do, even more ma anime, uh, motivation to say, this guy's a joke, but again, I feel like I'm an average player anyway, so, you know, shout out to all the average players who don't mind not jumping into in-game content, because, you know, you just, you got other things to do, or maybe you just not feel like it, I don't know, thanks for watching this video, YouTube, thanks for watching.